How's it going everyone? I'm Zed Files and today we're going to be doing the second episode of Arc Insight. Today we're going to be comparing the Bronto and the Diplo. The first test we have is the tank test, how much health they have. So the Diplo starts with 1700 health at level 1 for the tamed stats. And the Bronto has 1863 health. But the more you, the, when you pump the health, like when you click this, the Bronto only gets. 2.5% of his max health and the Diplo gets plus 5.4% health. So the Diplo is actually a much better tank. He has a lot more health, which I didn't think he would have because the Bronto is so huge. But yeah, the Diplo has more health than the Bronto if you just upgrade it. Okay, we're here at the second test. This is the turning radius test. How easily they can turn around. <laughs> this is gonna be bad, because these guys, I'm pretty sure they're really bad at it. Okay, I'll try and turn. <laughs> That's so bad. It's actually not as bad as I thought though. Okay, so his is pretty big. <laughs> He's already out of stamina. I'll get the Diplo. I'll just do his over here. Okay, so his is like this. I think that's better than the Brontos. Yeah, I'd say the Diplo has a better turning circle. So the winner for this test is the Diplo. Now we're doing the movement test. How many laps the creature can do without running out of stamina. So this is a combination of movement speed and stamina. So first we have the Bronto. Both their feet are at the pillar. Okay. I'm pretty sure the Diplo is gonna win this as well. The Bronto, I don't even think he's good anymore. Now that the Diplo can harvest stuff, he's already out of the stamina. He didn't. Did he make it halfway? Well, he got to there. I'll get on the Diplo now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the Diplo is much better. I'll just see how many laps he can do. Oh, he's gonna go in the water now. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, you can see that the Diplo is much better than Bronto for traveling. We're now here at the damage test to see how much damage they do and how quickly they do it. So first we have the Bronto. Oh, he just harvests a bunch of stuff. Okay, even get him try and turn a bit more this is so difficult okay there we go 105 damage and he attacks this slowly 105 damage is really good since he's a level 1 okay the Diplodocus yeah <laughs> the Diplodocus doesn't do any damage it just does knock back knock back to things but this guy is too big. I'll look for a small thing if I can turn around. Okay. I'll try on this pteranodon. Attack. Yeah, he just pushes things far away. He can't do any damage. Even when he's in the wild, they'll always try and do this to you, but they can't do any damage. No matter what you're on. So the best the best creature for doing damage is the Bronto. So if you want to kill something, you would use the Bronto. We are now here at the swimming test. So 
This is how many laps they can do before running out of stem. Actually, no, it's not. It's how fast they can do one lap. So from this pillar here to the other pillar, their feet are a bit behind the pillar. I'll move them a bit more up. Okay, I'll start now. I'll put a timer up as well. He's not even swimming yet. I'll start the timer once he starts swimming. I know my stamina is... Okay. Okay, now he's swimming. This is... Oh, it's actually not too bad. The bronze might actually be a better swimmer. Okay, he's already at the other side. I'll start the timer for the Diplo when he gets to the same spot the Bronto started. So that it's fair. Okay, let's go Diplo. So it started now. I won't know who is the fastest, but you guys will. Because I don't have a timer with me right now. <laughs> okay, so you'll see he was the better swimmer. I hope it's the Bronto so that he can be more than just a fighter. Because <laughs> the Diplo is better at everything else so far. We are now at the ability test. So this is to see the creature's abilities and which creature has the best and most abilities. So both of these guys, they can, I think they can stomp on things. We'll test that out soon. But first, I'll talk about their saddles. So the Bronto has two saddles. He has this normal one, but he also has this platform saddle, and when you equip that, you get this huge thing. You can still ride him, everything, of course, and you can build on this this area. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest platform saddle, besides the Titanosaur one, so that's a good thing about the Bronto, finally, <laughs> and the Diplo. The Diplo saddle, he only has one, but he has 10 seats, the saddle has 10 seats. So if you want to transport a lot of people, you can use the Diplo. It's like a dinosaur boss. <laughs> so we'll see if they can both stomp on things. There's a bunch of dodos here. Oh, that's so much damage. Okay, the Bronto can stomp on things. If you want him to stomp on something, all you do is just walk on something. But it has to be small enough. I think they can do it up to like a parasaur or something. Okay, so now the Diplo. Oh, that's a red dodo. Okay, I don't think Diplo does. Yeah, the Diplo can't run over things. I don't think so, because he's a harmless creature. So the Bronto, again, does more damage. He's pretty good for like just killing stuff. The Diplo is just a harmless guy. We are now here at the utility test. <laughs> so here we see how well they can gather materials. The Diplo, the Arc Wiki page tells me which thing gathers the best, but they haven't updated the Diplo's harvest stuff. So I don't know how good he can harvest stuff. So we will actually use the Bronto first. So we can compare it easy. So the Bronto has 5 out of 5 stars for berries. <laughs> he gets so much berries in one swing. I'll drop all this. I also did some push gathering accidentally before. So I'll do it now. I got <laughs> this much stuff in one swing. I'll go over to... I'll practice on this tree here. So I got 51 thatch from one of them. He's 5 out of 5 stars for thatch though. Which is weird. Oh, that time he got 100. Okay. So the Bronto, he's really good at collecting berries and thatch. He's 2 out of 5 stars for collecting wood. Now the Diplo, he can harvest berries. I don't... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not as good as the Bronto. But for trees, the thatch and stuff, he gets so much thatch. I think he gets the same amount as the Bronto, but because he's like so agile, like a lot faster than the Bronto, I'd say he's better for collecting thatch, 
but the Bronto is better for collecting berries. We are now here at the appearance test. This is how well they look. This is based on my opinion. So you guys might think differently, but maybe you'll think the same. And unfortunately it's kind of foggy now. As you can see, I think it's clearing up, starting to anyway. So first, the Bronto. He... <laughs> I don't really know what to say. He looks, he looks pretty good, I guess. I'll see him. He looks cool with the saddle. Oh yeah, the cool thing about the Bronto is that you can build like coal bases on his back. So that's cool. It makes him look cooler. I don't know where his other saddle is. I dropped it with the other stuff over there. So without the saddle, any saddle, it looks like that. He looks better with the platform saddle, I think. And then the Diplo. His tail is so interesting. It's like super skinny. And the saddle. The saddle looks okay. I guess it's pretty cool. Especially when there's 10 people on it. <laughs> His face looks like a skull. <laughs> Look at that. I think the Diplo actually looks better because of that face. And how cool it looks when he has all those people on his back. I'll show him without the saddle. So he's like without the saddle. But a lot of you will probably think the Bronto looks better. Especially with the platform saddle and the base built on top of it. Okay, onto the next test. We're now here at the difficulty test. <laughs> I almost said no skin test. I named him that because I can't put a skin on him. So appear difficulty test that's how hard it was to tame these guys I think actually I know <laughs> that the Diplo is easier because the Diplo they can't really attack you and these guys can be a passive tame or a normal tame a knockout tame the passive tame you can just crawl under here and feed them here <laughs> while they're trying to push you away but they can't reach you there but that's uh, you get a bad view <laughs> and the knockout way I've never actually tried the knockout way for these guys but I think it would probably be easier than trying to passive tame it and the Bronto he's he's like the Diplo but only knockout tame and he can destroy things and actually hurt you. So that's why I think the Diplo is an easier tame and the Bronto is harder. Okay, now it's the stat table. I'll put the stat table up on the screen. It's it tells you all the stuff about them, all their stats. And here you can see like all the damage, all the health and all that. For when they're tamed and wild. And after this, we're going to the... Oh, wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're gonna do the free-for-all, the 1v1 thing. Because it's only two of them. But the Diplo can't even do damage. I guess we'll just do it anyway. Okay, we're back at a cliff. Oh, what? There's still a trike there. I just killed a trike and there's another one. Okay, so my objective is to push the Bronto off. And the Bronto's objective is to kill me. Is the track <laughs> The track's already gone. He's like stuck on the ledge thing. And before I said the Diplo can only push... I said maybe it can't push... Oh! <laughs> the Diplo won. Get away track. <laughs> okay, so the Diplo won. <laughs> the knockback is so good for these guys. I don't think he can do it to a Titanosaur. But maybe he can. <laughs> that would be so dumb. Oh, the Bronto killed the Trike. <laughs> if you're wondering, Trike versus Bronto, Bronto wins. <laughs> so, um, I was gonna say, before I said the Diplo can't push the Parasaur, and I thought it was because the Parasaur was too big, but it's actually because the Parasaur was stuck in those pillars. The Diplo can push. 
I think it's anything up to a Bronto. So like, he can't push a Giga, but I might be wrong. <laughs> okay. Doesn't even care about me anymore. It's now the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed the video, subscribing really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.